Hi there, this is your beloved friend Virendra Diyar. Always with a strong willpower to strive to seek to find a not yield in my endeavor to make millions and millions people realize their power of soul, the power of their mind and keep on thinking. As we know, truly thought are things and powerful things are that when they are mixed with definiteness of purpose, persistence and a burning desire for their translation into riches or other material objects. And Ila Wheeler Wilcox said, you never can tell what thought will do in bringing you hate and love. For thoughts are things and their airy wings are swifter than carrier dough. They follow the law of the universe and each thought bring its kinds. They speed over the track to bring you back whatever went out of your mind. And really, you know, the ultimate source of power is the power of the brain, the intelligence. Cosmic intelligence is the original substance. And we, the human being, are also a part of the original thinking substance. So our thinking power can only bring greatness in our words, thought, and action. That's the way to be great. And as you know, whatever the mind can conceive and believe, the mind can really achieve for us. And if we have a burning desire, the obsessed desire, the passionate desire to be great, nobody can st stop us from becoming great. Greatness is to recognize the power of your mind, embrace it and use it. Then you have to have a fixed purpose, the burning desire to become great, then decide instantly with a lot of belief and faith and continue persistently towards the attainment of the definite chief of your life. And you can leave a monument. After departure also from this earth, you will be remembered as one of the persons who really served the mankind. Because, you know, through some strange and powerful principle of natural chemistry, nature wraps up in that strong desire something which recognizes no such word as impossible and accepts no such reality as failure or defeat. So if you have a fixed purpose, and if you are determined, and that determination is nothing less than a dog determination, you are bound to be happy and you are bound to be successful and you will be basking in your glory and greatness of life. But the starting point is you have to concentrate on a certain task in your life, a certain principle in your life, and you have to idealize such kind of things in your life. We are a thinking center in the original substance. And the thoughts of original substance have creative power. Whatever is formed in its thought and held as a thought form must come into existence as a visible and so-called material form. And as a thought form held in thinking substance is a reality. It is a real thing, whether it has yet become visible to the mortal eye or not. This is a fact that we must impress upon our mind, our understanding that a thought held in the thinking substance is a real thing, a form, and has actual existence. Although it is not visible to us, we internally take the form in which we think of ourselves, and we surround ourselves with these invisible forms of those things with which we associate in our thoughts. So everything starts in the thinking first. We cannot become great outwardly unless we have got internal greatness in our thought, belief and faith. And that will be manifested in due course of time. So the seed of a great thought can only lead us to the great plant of success, excellence, achievement, greatness, power and position. We have seen if we desire a thing Picture it clearly and hold the picture steadily in our mind until it becomes a definite thought form. And if our practices are not such as to separate us from God, the thing we must want, we must want will must come to us. It must be so in obedience to the law by which universe was created. Let's make a thought form of ourselves as strong and healthy and perfectly well. Impress this thought form 
on the creative intelligence. And if our practices are not in violation of the law by which the physical body is built, our thought form will manifest in our flesh. This also is certain, it comes by obedience to law. We are now ready to apply the same principle of the science of being great. Make a thought form of ourselves as we desire to be and set our ideas as near to perfection as our imagination is capable of forming the conception. Everyone has right to become great. Greatness is our birthright, but it has to be manifested. It has to be developed by thinking. As Norman Vincent Peale said, formulate and stamp indelibly and hold tenaciously in your imagination what you want to become and you will definitely become your starting point is your thinking and imagination and dreams. Your dreams is bound to be manifested as a real substance. As the thought form grows more definite and habitual in his mind, the creative energy, both within and without, are set to work. It begins to manifest the form from within. And all the essential without, which go into the picture, begin to be impelled upon it. It makes into the image and God works with him. Nothing can prevent him from becoming what he wishes to be. So that is the real center point, dear friends. What we want to become, we will become. This is in our control. And this control starts by thinking. Without thinking, we cannot become great. The thought form has to be very, very effective, deep-rooted, and a permanent philosophy, a permanent creed and principle. We want to be great, and we will achieve greatness. There is no doubt about it. When we have fully decided what thing we want to be, let's form the highest conception of that thing that we are capable of imagining, and max that conception a thought form. Hold that thought form as a fact, as a real truth about ourselves and believe in it. That can be done through the principle of auto-suggestion. We can attain any altitude of achievement in our life by thinking of greatness, by a lot of belief and faith in ourselves. So start believing, start thinking that we are great and we are want to be great. And here the verses reflect this. If you think you are better than you are, if you think you dare not, you don't, if you like to win and if you think you can't, it's almost certain that you won't. If you think you will lose, you are lost. For out in the world we find success begins with the person's will. It's all in the state of mind. If you think you are outclassed, you are. You have got to think high to rise. You have to be sure of yourself even you can win a prize. Life's battle don't always go to the stronger, the faster man. But sooner or later, the one who wins is the one who thinks he can. You can become what you think about. There's no doubt about it. But first you believe in yourself and make a clear picture in your mind. Visualize it. Prioritize it you will definitely actualize it. Actualization, the realization is inevitable. If you are holding such thought forms tenaciously, without any dilution, scattering or divergence, the concentrated thought forms, that is the fixed purpose, is bound to get its realization. That is also known as the law of attraction. Whatever thought forms you hold in your mind, that thought forms will start attracting the siblings from the universe. And the time will come when you will realize it, live in that philosophy with open-mindedness, with belief, faith. You are born great, greatness is your right, and must realize it. That is the true realization, that is the true consecration. Thank you very much for being a partner permanently towards becoming great. May God bless you. Thank you very much.